Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Rookie Division in the Fall Major Tournament. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And it's in this playthrough you will see my shots and you will also hear me explain in detail uh, how I take my shot and what I want with it. So, in the end, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, visit goldclashtommy.com for more content of the Fall Major. You can also subscribe to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy to get the updated text guides. On the right-hand side in the playthrough, you will uh, see a box with information. The first number is elevation for the drive. Second is elevation for second shot. Then what ball I would suggest you to use combined with what club. You will see that on every hole to help you get more information uh, out from this playthrough. But please make sure you make a comment in the comment section below if you do have any questions. So let's go to number one. So for hole number one, we're going to play 20% downhill. And whenever we play downhill, it means that the ball is more affected by the wind than normal. Power three ball, which is a Titan, as we do want to go straight down the middle. So we are going to use four and a half bar top spin, four and a half bar side spin to the right to stay away from the left hand side. Because if we are going to be too close to the trees on the left, we will have the trees in our face when adjusting for the pin for the second shot. Max overpower, I don't like to suggest that, but we do need to go with that because this is going to be the easiest way to get down there to look for the eagle. Second shot, Saturn, five and a half bar backspin. Five and a half bar is absolutely perfect here. You can survive with five, four and a half, five or four and a half bar backspin, but the Saturn, even though in a low level, its backspin is very, very valuable. So we are focusing on getting around five bars backspin. And then obviously Saturn will have that. So that is a good suggestion. Could be a backbone in a higher level. 10% extra for the second shot. And we're going to get close. So for hole number two, we are going to play as much as 30 percent extra when it comes to elevation and here you can see I'm you know juggling around a little bit with my clubs you can see it trying to see the rough bump there but go back and I play with our uh, with the backbone backbone is a long iron with a good accuracy one bar top spin which I would like you to change to one and a half bar top spin here as it is very hard to judge from this distance how close we are going to be based on the spin that we're using Maximum distance plus 30% every time we play downhill the ball is going to be affected more by the wind and playing this shot is going to take you to a birdie nothing else in my opinion. So for hole number three, we are going to play with the big topper here. Even if you would be having it in a very low level, I would suggest you play it. So level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, play with a big topper. You will get a very good amount of a top spin, which is going to be very valuable. And we're just going to put ourselves into max distance playing with a power zero ball. You can, as in the example to the right, play with a power three ball, power two ball. And the reason I actually add those type of balls is to kind of show you that you can play with whatever type of ball you might want to have. So you play with a ball that you have the most of. That's going to be the easiest way to go with here. Uh, no elevation for the second, for the first shot. And now we're going to put ourselves up for a guardian shot from distance. Max backspin on the guardian with two to three bars of side spin to the right trying to catch the back end of the green to let the ball fall back towards the pin. Here we play slightly downhill and once again, whenever we play downhill, the ball is going to be affected more by the wind. A great shot to the right will obviously put us too much to the right, but here you can see the trick getting back of the hill there, fall down towards the pin. So for hole number four, we are going to go back to the backbone once again. And I want you to play with a side spin three ball. So we play with a katana because we don't want to spend any kingmakers. 
max side spin to the right and around two bars top spin i would say slightly less than two bars as you're gonna notice that we come in a bit too hot red ring by the rough line and we are just for maximum distance plus 10 percent so we play slightly downhill and now you have learned it by now that when we play downhill the ball is going to be slightly more affected by the wind Great shot to the left will not be helpful, obviously, and where you're just going to slightly miss there to the left. For hole number five, I want you to put out the driver that gives you the absolute most distance. In my case, it's going to be the extra mile. I have the extra mile level five using four and a half bar top spin with as much a side spin to the left possible. Now, we are going to adjust for maximum distance with no elevation. But look now, once I've adjusted my shot, I push up my target into max again. Half a ball of curl to the left, and now one out of two things will happen. One, we're going to stay nicely on the fairway, we're going to have a layup shot using a 30% extra over adjustment with our short iron. Or, we're going to do like we're doing here now, we're going to get the ball to roll down the hill, and falling down towards the fairway down below. I would suggest play that one aggressively. You can take that one just quick again. Play that one very aggressively where I could co actually consider playing with some overpower as well. Just make sure that we fall down the hill because obviously that shot is going to be much easier to get in the hole than trying to shoot from on top of the hill. So, but you decide, and that's why I wanted to explain this drive a bit more carefully, and that's why you see 0 and 30% on the right hand side. The 30% only applies if you're going to lay up and shoot from distance. But once again, we want to get the ball down there, that's going to be a much better attempt for us making an eagle on this par 4 of the eagle peak. So, fall down the hill, and once the ball falls down the hill, we're gonna walk to hole number 6. For hole number six, we need to pay attention to the elevation here. We do need to over adjust 20% to our drive here. And the thing that we're going to do is that we're going to use a power three ball. We do want the ball to get directly over to the fairway on the other side of the rough. So once we have adjusted for our drive, we push up our target into max, and then we have to go with max overpower. I hate to suggest it, but going on the right hand side instead of going aggressively to the left is going to make a major difference if we're going to have an attempt for the albatross or you know a, a secure eagle four and a half bar top spin and some side spin to the right for the second shot we're going to go for the rough bump with a sniper two bars top spin is what we do need and now we need to under adjust our shot once we do make an under adjustment, it means that we are going to affect it, the ball is going to be affected less by the wind. Aim for the hole, and now we're going to play from the distance we are. We are either we are in medium distance or we are in maximum distance. We're going to be somewhere close to that, and then it's all about to find it. As you see on the right hand side as well, I do suggest a power 3 ball, sniper is the key club. If you have the sniper in level 1, level 2, might consider using the viper, but the sniper even in a lower level. So we bounce in the rough, roll out for a pon uh, potential albatross. Hole number seven is going to be much harder in rookie than it's going to be for pro, expert and master because we're kind of forced to play on the right hand side. Two bar side spin to the right and I want you to play with two to two and a half bar top spin because we do want the ball to get kind of high up on the right hand side, fall down towards the pin. We are going to play a maximum distance shot with a 15% over adjustment. And look here now, once trying to zoom in, as we do have a slope there, or like it's sloping down to down from the right to left, it's going to make it very tricky for us to be accurate with our rings. So be very cautious when you're playing this hole, and having to play on the right hand side as being in between clubs going left hand side, going to make hole seven very tricky from front tee.
So for hole 8 ladies and gentlemen we are going for green and here you can choose two ways of playing this hole. One, you play with a big topper giving yourself max top spin in between the two trees there as you can see. Second bounce in the rough roll out on the fairway for an easy wedge and eagle. The thing here though that it's going to be the only hard part in my opinion is to choose what type of ball you want to play with. If you play with a big topper play with a power zero power one ball as most if you're gonna play with the horizon which is a wood club then you play with a power three ball so you're not getting in between clubs so pick the horizon pick the big topper in your bag get the ball into the rough roll out on the fairway giving yourself very very easy eagle on this par four So for hole number 9 we are going to play with the big topper if possible. I would otherwise suggest to play with a Thor's hammer, lower level apocalypse or maybe even an extra mile. We didn't have enough space in the box to add extra miles so I added the ones that I thought. But the big topper is a very nice club here. And here I would suggest a, at least a power 3 ball. Not because I want us to spend as many but it's because it's a must for the second shot. Adjust maximum distance without any elevation then you push up your target into max and then you take your shot doing that is going to prevent you from having to use overpower and you know playing with a lower level accuracy club like the big topper then playing in that way is going to be much more valuable than trying to go with overpower as overpower could mess it up big time if we don't have a power 3 ball, we can play with a power 5 ball instead, then we don't have to push up once we have adjusted, but you know, power 5 balls might be rare playing from the front tee. Second shot, we play with the big dog, that's uh, because of distance. We can play with a sniper, we can play with the guardian, but in the end, use the big dog as it gives you distance and it will, with a bad drive, help you out from a very tough position. And I'm going for the rough bump because I feel comfortable with doing so. If you don't feel comfortable doing so, then you play on the left of the rough using backspin and put it just nicely on the green. Now this replay is with the new replays here. You cannot really see how it is in the adjustment box, but it is centered and we are obviously trying to hit perfect without any type of curl. 10% extra for the second shot. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a quick and smooth playthrough for rookie division. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Try and use the feature on YouTube where you can pause, you can rewind, you can go back and forth and hopefully you're going to be able to take some really good notes here. Rookie is going to be the toughest of the four divisions in this tournament. You maybe wonder why and the reason why it's because you're playing with lower level clubs and many of the holes will be coming much easier if you do have a ball guideline like a higher level sniper and that's why we're going to see much lower scores playing in pro expert and master than we're going to see rookie this time but i do definitely see hole eight is an absolute must we have a good possibility in hole five and we definitely have a good possibility on the part threes as well so let me know what you got by comment in the comment section below thank you so much for watching the video is sponsored by gold clash and playdemic don't forget to hit thumbs up as well Thank you and good luck in the tournament.